you know, when I followed a leadership contest, uh, well, if you could call it that, with the Conservative Party, which is now currently down to Sunak and Truss, God help us all either way, I'm not actually hearing much of anything that will impact or have any effect on certainly my life. I don't know about yours. I mean, we have big problems in this country at the moment with the affordability of different things. And I was talking to someone earlier on, and um, we're pretty much of agreement that sooner or later something's got to give. And one of the major problems, of course, is our gas and electricity bill. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel for a Friday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad. I'm uh, loitering at uh, Cobham Services at the moment, just in my car, waiting in between jobs and thought I'd do this one for you. Well, gas and electricity bills, we all know where they're going. They're going up, 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 up. And apparently in October, the, the uh, the price cap is going to change again, not for the better as far as we're concerned. Well, you have to ask the question, don't you? Sooner or later, what's going to happen? Something's going to have to give, something's going to have to crack uh, somewhere. You have to stiff up a British lip, don't you? But how much are we actually going to put up with? You remember, of course, the poll tax in the early 90s, all the shit that happened with that. Everybody went absolutely mad. Absolutely mad. And I wonder whether we're getting near one of those again. I, I had the misfortune of coming across a, a video that Robert Peston did. Uh, oh, Jesus, don't. It's like pulling teeth listening to that guy. But I was more interested in what Martin Lewis had to say. And I, yeah, I tend to agree with him. Have a look at this. The last time we were on the show, you warned that you feared there may be civil unrest. Do you still have that fear? Yeah, but I think I can, I can categorize it more accurately now. Yes, please do. The big, the big movement that I am seeing is an increasing growth of people calling for a non-payment of energy bills process. So a so strike, mass a strike. Effectively, a consumer strike on energy bills um, and, and getting rid of the legitimacy of paying that. It's small at the moment. There's a Twitter handle with about 5,000 followers. But every time I talk about this and every time I raise the alarm about what's oh. happening, I'm just that is the big response I get back. And many people are spontaneously calling for that. We are getting close to a poll tax moment on energy bills coming into October. And we need the government to get a handle on that, because, of course, once you start to get to that, suddenly everything gets it's exponential. The problems that you start to happen once okay. it becomes socially acceptable not to pay energy bills. People will stop paying energy bills. How do you enforce it? You're not going to cut people off. This is this is a real dilemma. So when I talk about civil unrest, yeah. it, it's more that yeah. than other forms. Now I civil unrest, not quite the kind where we go bricking the windows and robbing and looting and all the rest of it, but civil unrest in the, in the form of a demonstration, in the form of non-payment of services. I, I, I actually said this months ago that maybe something like this might need to happen. You know, if enough of us all over the country actually turned around and done that and said we've had enough of this shit, then these big multi-million pound conglomerates will be forced to listen. Uh, they will be forced to do something. The only way I guess we will uh, deal with this is if we take back control of our own affairs. I don't know what you think in the comments below. It's not an ideal situation. Why are we even talking like this in 2022? We should all be absolutely fine. But, you know, is it part of the grand design, the grand plan? Or is it a complete fuck up? Who knows? Let me know what you think. Toodaloo.